in this video, we'll show you the top 10 things to do in Tokyo. The suggestions are based on our fun trip to the largest city on Earth. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. And share your own experience or ask a question in the comments below. We want to thank Septix, the number one choice for travel adapters on Amazon, for sponsoring this video. The link is in the description. And stick around until the end of this video because we have a bonus for you. Here are our top 10 picks. Number 10. Takeshita Street. Tokyo is famous for its diverse shopping options, including luxury fashion brands, electronics and traditional Japanese goods. Explore Takeshita Street in Harajuku, known for its trendy fashion, unique boutiques and youth culture. The area is known for its vibrant street style. It is often associated with the Harajuku girls, who dress in eclectic and colorful fashion and the busy multi-level Tokyo Plaza or Mutesando Harajuku shopping mall. Try the Rainbow Toast, because why not? The longest tunnel potato or one of many other delicious desserts like cotton candy at Toti Candy Factory or Marion Crepe. If you're up for a unique, cute experience, don't skip the nearby Hatchcock Cafe. And there are tons of places all over Tokyo where you can experience a culture of cuteness or, as they call it in Japan, kawaii. There are many other districts and neighborhoods that offer a unique shopping experience, like the upscale Ginza, known for its luxury shopping, high-end fashion boutiques and department stores. Number 9. Sensoji Temple Japan has two major religions, Shinto and Buddhism, and the two have coexisted for centuries. While both Shinto shrines and Buddhist temples in Japan are places of worship and can be visited by the general public, they have different customs and practices associated with them. Did you know that there are over 3000 shrines and temples in Tokyo? More than any other city in Japan, visit Sensoji, one of Tokyo's most popular and oldest Buddhist temples. Although rebuilt several times over the centuries due to fires and other natural disasters and the bombing during the World War II, it is still known for its rich history, traditional architecture and cultural significance. It dates back to the 7th century when two fishermen discovered a cannon statue in the Sumida River. The temple was built around the statue, now housed in the main hall. One of the most striking features of Sensoji is the temple's main gate, the Kamenari which is adorned by a large paper lantern bearing the temple's name. Visitors to the temple typically walk through the gate and down the Nakamize Dori, a shopping street lined with traditional shops selling souvenirs and Japanese goods leading to the temple's main hall. The temple also features several other buildings, including a pagoda, a treasure house and a museum. Don't forget to explore the rest of Asakusa with several shopping streets and delicious food. Number 8. Food Tokyo is one of the world's top destinations for foodies. It offers a diverse and delicious food scene and a wide variety of cuisines and dining experiences, like the intriguing Alice called Yokocha, for example the famous Amodi Yokocha, aka Memory Lane, a narrow street filled with tiny bars and restaurants, or as the Japanese call it, Izakayas. Or for instance Golden Guy or Golden Block, both popular nightlife spots and both located in in Shinjuku. The area is known for its bohemian atmosphere and association with the city's counterculture and nightlife. Of course, while visiting these unique places, get a taste of Japanese rice wine called sake, often served as a part of traditional Japanese meal. You can enjoy it as an aperitif or paired with various dishes. Tokyo the city with the most Michelin-starred restaurants in the world is considered one of the world's food capitals. Besides its famous typical dishes like sushi and many variations of sushi, like sashimi or nigiri, or renowned ramen, udon or soba, don't skip delicious street food with famous takoyaki octopus balls, stirred fried noodles called yakisoba, skewered rice dumplings named dango and many others. Japan is also known for its delicious and unique desserts, many of which have been influenced by traditional Japanese ingredients and techniques. 
for example, wagashi that comes in various shapes and flavors and is often enjoyed with tea, like mochi, or other desserts like doriaki, a type of Japanese pancake, or fish-shaped dessert called taiyaki. Check our travel guide for more suggestions and ideas about which cafes to visit. By the way, our mobile-friendly travel guide covers the top 20 things to do in Tokyo and things to know before you visit, including maps, opening hours, links, itinerary suggestions, best day trips, and other information. Number 7. Tokyo Imperial Palace The Imperial Palace in Tokyo is the main residence of the Emperor of Japan, located in Shiyoda, therefore also known as Shiyoda Castle. It is located on the former site of Edo Castle, a large feudal castle built in the mid-15th century. The castle was the shogun's residence and military government headquarters throughout the Edo period. Did you know that Tokyo was originally a small fishing village known as Edo, which means estuary in Japanese? In 1868, following the major restoration, the capital was moved from Kyoto and the city's name was changed to Tokyo meaning Eastern Capital, to reflect its new status as the capital of the modernized Japan. However, Edo Castle has a long history with several fires occurring over the centuries. The last major one, in 1873, destroyed much of the castle. Today, only a few structures from the original castle remain, including the castle's foundation stones, moats and walls. In 1960, a palace called the Imperial Palace was built on the site of the former Edo Castle, which now serves as the residence of the Emperor of Japan. You can visit the palace on a guided tour or freely walk around the gardens and the ruins. Discover the enchanting Shiyoda City, an idyllic destination filled with picturesque canals, vibrant gardens and charming pathways, like the East Gardens of the Imperial Palace. During the Sakura season, make sure to rent a boat at the moat and immerse yourself in the breathtaking beauty of cherry blossoms. Number 6. Vending Machines Vending machines are a common sight in Japan. They can be found in many locations, including on the street, train stations and shopping malls. They offer various products with drinks, snacks and unique items, like a cake in a can, ramen or even insects. Insert some coins and select something from a diverse array of cartoon characters, anime stars and collectibles available in vinyl, plushes and other forms. It is estimated that with 5 million machines, Japan has the highest number of vending machines per capita, literally one for every 25 people. Vending machines are popular due to the country's high population density and busy lifestyle, which makes purchasing items from vending machines a quick and convenient option for people. One of the most interesting ones is the so-called horror vending machine corner located close to Akihabara. Number 5. Miraikan Museum Tokyo's museums offer a diverse and fascinating array of exhibits, showcasing everything from traditional Japanese art and culture to innovative technology and contemporary art worldwide. Miraikan, also known as the National Museum of Emergent Science and Innovation, is a cutting-edge museum offering diverse exhibits and experiences showcasing the latest advancement in science and technology. Visitors are immersed in interactive displays, virtual reality simulations, and hands-on experiments, providing a unique opportunity to explore the frontiers of innovation. Miraikan covers a wide array of topics including robotics, space exploration, artificial intelligence, and environmental sustainability. It serves as a hub for scientific education and exploration, encouraging visitors to ponder the impact of emerging technologies on society and the world we inhabit. Miraikan stands as a beacon of scientific discovery, inspiring curiosity and fostering a deeper understanding of the rapidly evolving world of science and technology. Tokyo offers an array of museums to explore, making it an ideal destination, especially on a rainy days. Number 4. The Shibuya Crossing Shibuya Crossing, or Scramble Crossing, is a busy intersection in the heart of the commercial and financial center Shibuya. It is known for its large crowds of pedestrians crossing the street simultaneously creating a unique, almost chaotic scene. The crossing is located in front of the Shibuya station. It is often featured in movies and TV shows as a symbol of Tokyo's bustling city life. 
It is considered one of the busiest pedestrian crossings in the world, with as many as 2,500 people crossing at one time during peak hours. Shibuya is a popular tourist destination, and many people come to watch the crossing from the surrounding buildings. The place is scheduled for redevelopment in the near future. Don't skip a popular meeting spot at the Hachiko Memorial statue honoring the loyal Akita Dock. Hachiko, who waited for his deceased owner at the train station every day for nine years. Explore the rest of Shibuya, like the narrow street of Shibuya Center Gai, which is especially popular among youth. It offers many food options, brand name stores, and busy nightlife. This video is sponsored by Septix. Being stuck in a hotel with only one outlet and many devices waiting to be charged can become a problem. Use powerful travel adapters with USB, USB-C, and other plugs from Septix for a quick charge. Some even offer the ability to charge seven devices simultaneously. Did you know that different adapters charge your phone, laptop, and other devices at different speeds? Sometimes charging goes nowhere and you need your devices ready to go fast when traveling. Japan uses the same outlet style as the US, but if you're traveling to other destinations in Asia, for instance Singapore uses an entirely different outlet style, your septics adapter can quickly be converted to fit the outlet style used on your next destination. You can even buy a voltage converter for small electronics like a toothbrush, shaver and straightener that you otherwise couldn't use. Visit the septics website to find adapters that fit your needs. The link is in the description. Number 3. Ueno Park Ueno Park, established in 1873, is a large public park known for museums, temples, gardens, and the zoo. The park is home to several important cultural institutions, including the Tokyo National Museum and National Museum of Nature and Science. The park also features several temples, like Benton Do Temple, dedicated to the Goddess of Mercy. One of the main attractions in Ueno Park is the Shinobatsu Pond, home to various bird species. Rent a boat and enjoy beautiful views of the surrounding area. Tokyo is home to many beautiful parks and gardens. Check our travel guide for more suggestions. Number 2. Otaku Culture Otaku culture is a significant part of Japanese pop culture and has also gained popularity around the world. This subculture is associated with strong interest in anime, manga, video games and other forms of popular entertainment. The term otaku originally referred to people with obsessive interests, but has since taken on a more positive connotation. Otaku culture encompasses various attractions and activities, including cosplay, collectible card games and fan fiction. It is also known for its vibrant subcultures, such as the maid cafes, where young women dress in maid costumes and serve customers in a cafe setting. Tokyo is home to several places popular among otaku culture fans, such as the famous Akihabara neighborhood, often referred to as the otaku capital of Japan, and the Ghibli Museum, dedicated to the works of the Japanese animation studio. Number 1. Observation Decks Tokyo offers several impressive observation decks that offer panoramic views of the city. Visit the Tokyo Skytree, a broadcasting and observation tower completed in 2012. At 2080 feet, it is the tallest structure in Japan. The Skytree features observation decks, a restaurant and a shopping mall. The tower is designed to withstand earthquakes and typhoons. Don't skip the Tokyo Tower, a 1092 feet tall communications and observation tower built in 1958, once the tallest structure in Japan until the completion of Tokyo Skytree in 2012. The tower is a popular tourist destination and is often used as a symbol of Tokyo. If you don't have enough time to visit one of the two observation decks, just walk around the Zoyoji Buddhist temple with beautiful views towards Tokyo Tower. And here is the bonus that we promised. If you have extra time in Tokyo, visit one of its many unique cafes. There is no place like Tokyo when it comes to exciting bars and restaurants, like the Avatar Robot Cafe. Experience a one-of-a-kind dining adventure or enjoy refreshing juice where you'll be served by a robot avatars controlled remotely by individuals with disabilities or mental health challenges, enabling them to engage with society and overcome the limitations of their homebound circumstances. We wish you an amazing trip to Tokyo!